and we're here with the May. Hi. Yeah, hello, my name is Yong. I'm from May. Uh, our company is to manufacture micro display, so we use uh, those panels to develop. They are via headset and program kit and beam projector. So, so you can do a projector there. There's your micro display inside here. Yeah, right. Uh, and this is um, the the micro display. Yeah, right. Uh, we use uh, those three panels to put inside to develop 4K UHD uh, beam projector. So this is prototype. We want to uh, relate the. USD type and then here, and then we're gonna uh, apply the home industry and also cinema industry as well. Uh, and uh, it's 10,000 lumen, yeah. very bright? Yeah, very bright. It's gonna be like 10,000 lumens, and we're gonna use the razor light source that uh, we can apply to the cinema industry. All right, cool. Um, right there, if you keep it just a little bit higher, sorry, just a little bit higher, yeah. Uh, I'm filming it. This is very bright. I need to be careful with my eyes where I'm putting them and everything. So, uh, where is the company based? Uh, we are based in South Korea. We have the manufacturing line in South Korea. We manufacture display there and also apply to uh, each uh, product and we develop uh, the number of products. And uh, here, this, this it says ultra high definition spatial light modulator. Uh, yeah. Do you have it here? Yeah. So what is this? You can explain? Yeah. Uh, this is a holographic uh, development kit. We have two types of display. We use uh, one of those holographic panels. So we use those panels to uh, develop development kit. So this one could be used for head of display area. And also we are selling this device to uh, all these big companies, Hyundai and LG and Samsung. So they buy this stuff to head of this So LCAS has yeah. been around for decades, right? Yeah, right. And how long is your company? How old is your company? Uh, our company is just a startup. Actually, it was the part of uh, Cellcode. Uh, we spin, uh, compiled the what, sorry? Uh, it was a part of the Cellcode. Cellcode is uh, kind of our parent company. Also, Cellcode mainly semiconductor. The one machine. who make the the watches, Seiko? Cellcode. Ah, Se ah okay. Cellcode. Cellcode. So, yeah. Semiconductor plus uh, air force. Ah, so okay. The name is cell force. We use uh, the cell force machine to manufacture micro displays. So it's been like we have started our business since uh, 2017. So it's been almost like seven years. And uh, this is the same we saw before? This is uh, the smaller side one. This one used for uh, AR VR headset. It's inside there? Yeah, inside there. So, if you look at the inside, there are two panels uh, inside. Is it powered on, do you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Power, do you think it's on? Let me try this one. This one is on, yeah? yeah. All right, so I see the, pa the panel. And uh, how is the resolution in there? Uh, in terms of the resolution, we uh, support the 4K UHD. I don't know how to add. 4K so, UHD. Yeah, we are hoping to sell our display to Asian uh, headset makers, like for example, Hi-Max, Oculus, and Pico. So, 4K UHD uh, for small, le less than one inch? Uh, the small one is uh, 0, uh, 0.62, the bigger size one 0.78. So 4K UHD panels used for beam projector and AR VR headset. Uh, Apple is trying to do a VR headset, the yeah. Apple headset. Yeah, it's gonna right. use a micro OLED. Yeah, right. And you can compete in this market? Uh, in terms of the micro OLED, the price is quite expensive than uh, ours. Also, in terms of the yield, it's quite low, so it, it's difficult to go into mass production. But we have the manufacturing line, so also we uh, our ours is quite higher than uh, micro OLED in terms of the yield. So probably we can uh, compete uh, with micro OLED. So we are hoping to promote our display to Apple and Google. So probably they can testing our samples and to make the product. There's also micro LC, uh, LED, micro LED. Yeah. Uh, that's another competitor, competing yeah, yeah, technology. That's another, 
micro LED is uh, very high technology, so now it's quite difficult to uh, apply to uh, micro display area. So at the moment, micro LED is applied to uh, display for TV and uh, mobile phone. All right. Is this, this is a different one? Uh, this goes to its next generation, so we are targeting to uh, apply AR glasses. So this one is the smallest panel ever before. So the, in terms of the size, 0.2a, so it's the smallest one. Full HD? Yeah, full HD. So could be used for AR glasses. Wow. 0.28 full HD, and here is a 0.81 4K by 4K. Yeah, this type is uh, circle type, so it could be used for VR uh, headsets. Nice. And what's the collection you have here? So basically we have two lineups. Uh, the one is the Full HD, UHD. Also we try Which one? Sorry? This one yeah. is the Full HD Full HD, lineup. yeah. Full HD, the smaller one. Okay. And here, 4K, the little bit bigger one. Yeah. So we have basically two lineups. We get the Full HD and UHD. And also we are hoping to add one more on the first lineup and expand to the business. How, how is the quality compared to the Apple uh, Micro OLED? How is the quality difference? I mean, in f in f in 4K. Yeah. In terms of the AR market, basically use uh, Micro OLED and DLP and LCD, uh, but they are quite good uh, mass production and good quality. But in terms of the resolution, they are the screen window effect. So if you get closer, there is some like lines. So it's quite easy and it's quite hard to use it. But for our product, we don't have the screen window effect. So it's quite natural images appear on your eyesight. So people make more like reality and immersive. And, um, Has it been uh, mass production for a long time, um, VR glass? Or is it just prototypes so far? At the moment, we ours is prototype, but uh, some like uh, the companies, they are testing our micro display. So once they finish the uh, testing, we're gonna uh, penetrate to massive production and commercialize. There's a lot of people trying them out here, the CES 2024. And this, uh, he, this is making wind. This, you have wind tunnels, you have the shaking chairs. Uh, whoa. How, how is this experience? How good is the quality? Try to explain. Yeah, this one is we connect to uh, the VR simulator and with the steam movie as a content. Uh, as if you are in the, the in roller coaster, it's very uh, immersive and also we add some bands and sound. It seems like you are in roller coaster. So it's quite amazing. To, to be honest, to be honest yeah, you're, you will, you'll be honest and say the quality is great. The qual the, the, the the effect, the what is the hertz? How can you do 120? Yeah, ours is 120. We this is 120. What did you try? 120, but we use the RGB, so basically it's in total 306 hey, hertz. Was it good? Uh, was it good? It was okay. Quality was good. Yeah. Was good. Real. Good. All right. So we have the report. People are saying it's great. Uh, and this is just prototypes right here. Uh, yeah, prototypes. And you are a startup. Uh, yeah, startup. Uh, so we are here to find uh, the business partner and customers, and we are hoping to uh, to be commercialized in uh, AR VR market in US and Asia, and a Wh lot of people enjoy our product. Which one is the biggest LCAS uh, companies in the world? Uh, the number one. I think definitely Sony. Sony. Yeah, Sony, and also in America, there is a company and Omnivision and Shindian. They are big competitors. But uh, we have the manufacturing line. Also, we are planning to expand our the manufacturing line. Also, apply to AR VR market and program industries. Uh, and it's easy for you to partner with the big fab, the big factory that can make many pieces. How are you going to make it? You're going to make it in your own fab. Actually, it is quite hard to uh, find a fab. In U.S. in Asia, but we try to connect uh, some other fabs in Malaysia. 
so they agree our or agree, agree our the request. So probably next year or two years later, we're gonna go into the big fan and produce a mass product. Uh, so the Apple one is three thousand five hundred dollars. It's more expensive than my car. Yeah. So how much is it gonna cost when you make with your technology? Somebody make yeah. mass production. L cos 4K by 4K, two micro display in the VR glass with all the cameras and everything. Yeah. You think it can be cheaper than the Apple price? Uh, I mean, the, for Apple they use the micro OLED, so it is quite uh, low. So that's why it's, it's quite expensive. But in terms of the yield, ours is quite high, and also we keep the good quality. And also pre-commercialized with the Air Force panel, it's gonna be like below two thousand dollars. So I think that is quite big point to compare to the big company, for example, Apple and Google. So maybe it can be half the price. Yeah, hopefully. All right. Cool. All right.